Uh, when I was 27, I looked like I was 60, and now I'm 50, and I look better than when I was 30. Um, I basically gave up. I got rid of everything I had and started over, and I had a whole new way of looking at life. I don't. I still feel emotion. I still feel pain, and but it's beautiful. To me, pain is beautiful. It's like it's part of the movie. It's part of life. And when you start celebrating the whole experience, and you don't try to avoid certain things. You just let it flow through you, but you don't hang on to it. That's the difference. When you feel pain. Let it out all at once. And then you don't have it anymore. And now you're free to feel the next emotion. But most people, they hold on to it. They're like festering on this, you know, the what ifs and all that. I'm just living. I mean, I'm living healthy and I'm doing what I want. And I don't worry too much. Stress is a big hair loss factor, um, plus nutrition, obviously. But really, the real secret to health, like I said, is what you get rid of. It's not what you take in. So stop eating the things that are clogging your life, like you know the, the, the fats and the things that are bad for you, um, the, the, the toxic stuff which burns you out. Your adrenals need to be rebuilt. Your hormones need to work right. It's all connected. So there isn't a magic answer for anything like how do you make your hair grow it's it's the whole package deal are you doing everything the whole nutritional life thing correct and if you are it reflects on everything your skin your hair your energy levels your mood your success the money you have coming in the things that you're doing for the world that's your power so you can see how good someone is just by looking at them you know but people don't want to usually look at that stuff they they just want to hide it with plastic surgery or throw money at the problem or something I don't pre-plan as much as possible because I like to live in the moment, but first of all, I don't wear clothes at home because there's nothing more freeing than just being a healthy, vibrant being and not having to wear clothes. I, I make a green smoothie in the morning. I, I sometimes just throw weeds in the blender with some coconut water or something. Um, I really don't eat that much. So, and it changes every day. Variety is really important because if you eat the same thing every day, you're going to run into a deficiency no matter what. Um, I also, uh, you know, I, I, I have to go on the email because I get 300 a day and um, I travel the world so I'm in a different city every week pretty much. I like to play good music. I'm actually quite a hermit. I like to be alone. I don't like to be, when like, I'm either in a group of 2,000 people or I'm alone by myself. And if I choose to have one other person in my life, it, it, it better be something worthwhile and I'm really picky with what that is you know I'm not like the typical I just want to have fun I don't party I don't go out at night I, I just I like romance I like to be in a quiet candlelit place sitting in the corner where nobody can see me you know <laughs> They think too much. They listen to this and not this. If they listen to the great GPS coming down from above and trust it, that it knows what it's seeing, because it sees more than we do, then, God, we, we have such a burden off of our shoulders. We don't have to worry about tomorrow. We don't have to worry about, you know, it's telling us what to do. At every moment, every second of our lives, it's telling us what to do. Our job isn't to think. Our job is to experience life. God wants to experience life through us, through our eyes, through our fingertips, through our, our bodies, our, our everything. Start listening to yourself. And then just let it go. Just let it happen, no matter what.